Hello, welcome to PC Chess Club, Season 1, Episode 13. This is the poster of the week, hope you like it. Some Chuck Norris jokes. And this is the message of the week on the message board. Character, your life is what your thoughts make it. And this is the little mini poster of the week. Everybody take a look at that. There's a shout out to our sponsor, Aver, maker of the best document camera in the world. This is the puzzle of the week for the little kids that come out. One of the favorites, little puppy dog with some flowers. Give them something good, something innocent while they're still innocent children. This is the game of the week, CSI. Take a look at this. See what you think. Board game. Join Grissom's team, gather the evidence, and then solve the crime. Let's take a look at it. Let's flip it over. You get eight crime stories. Well, let's see it. Let's take a crack at it. We'll just open it up and take a look at it. How about that? Let's do that. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Here we go. So y'all y'all out there on YouTube, you can see this. Basically, it looks like you got a... Uh, down here, interrogation, suspects, all levels start here, CSI, ballistics, Warwick, and what's interrogation, brass, and then, and then we got forensics, Sarah, we got, oh, oh, we got, I'm trying to hold this camera <laughs> with one hand, and show you all this board with the other hand. DNA Greg and Nick Trace. I think that's Las Vegas CSI. And, and identification Catherine. Well, let's take a look at what the game has. Let's take a look at that. See what they got there. Let's take a look at it. Looks like you get all your story cards right here. You pick one, go through it, like this one here, first one, uh, CSI episode called Rock Bottom. And you get eight little stories. You get all little, all little characters. You get all kinds of stuff in there. Fun game. You get your, what's it, your little checklist of stuff. And it looks like you go by each division, level one, level two, level three. 
and then you gotta get points if you figure out from interrogation, autopsy, identification, trace, ballistics, forensics, or DNA. And it looks like means, motive, and opportunity. So see if you are Sherlock Holmes, or in this case, if you would be good at CSI and you could solve the crime. Looks like a good, fun little game. These are our Promethean clickers we did in another video. We really need to do a separate video on those. I get time sometime in the upcoming video. We'll do a video on the uh, Promethean clickers, the Active Expressions 2. Those are $4,500. Actually, I think it's $4,520, but they're about $4,500 for 32 clickers. It's a really cool item. I gotta go ahead and do the uh, opening on this. Do the do the uh, meditation of the week. Then I'll be ready to do these two books and get started. And then we're gonna play some chess. Let's go ahead and get started. Better stop watch out the way. Do this book. This is. Carpe diem, seize the day. That's Latin for seize the day. Oh yeah, double your brain power. We'll get to that here in a minute. That's one of the books I promised y'all in another video I said we would take a look at it. We're gonna take a look at it. Let's open, as usual, let's open with our meditation of the week. We'll just pick a random, then. random meditation this week. See what happens. There you go. Let's try to do an autofocus and see if we can clean that up. There we go. Oh, let's see what we got. Yeah, we need to zoom in on that. How about we do one on patience? a good one let's go ahead and zoom in on this and I'll give you guys a really good one on patience this is from the book we use every week at PC chess club called thousand and one meditations we'll zoom in on that and pull that up bring that up a little bigger for y'all Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do 293 and 294, Infinite Expectations. Let's do 294 first. The Mulberry Leaf. With time and patience, the Mulberry Leaf becomes a silk gown. as a Chinese proverb. And then we have a quote by Henry David Thoreau, 1817 to 1862. Infinite expectations, we must learn to reawaken and keep ourselves awake, not by mechanical aid, but by an infinite expectation of the dawn. Ooh, deep philosophy this week, huh? But that is the two quotes we'll use this week. And it looks like there's not that much on that one. We'll, we'll throw in one more. We'll throw in one more. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and quote uh, from Seneca. 
Number 297, Finding Solace. There's nothing so bitter that a patient mind cannot find some solace for it. Finding Solace. Hope you guys enjoyed that. A few things to meditate on this week. All about patience. Let's take a look at those two books that I promised you guys about double your brain power. Increase your memory by using all of your brain all the time. Let's take a look at those. Now there's a similarity here in chess where it says uh, remember facts, figures, names, and dates. You could apply that to chess players and chess games. Recall entire conversations. That's similar to recall entire chess games. You can play people and you can re remember every move from the game. If you're studying up for the game, you would be able to remember everything you studied. I hope y'all can read that. If not, you need to enlarge on YouTube till it's full screen and try to zoom in on it. You notice here where she says burn facts, figures, and even whole books into your memory. Imagine how well you play if you could remember a whole chess book. You could think faster, remember more, comprehend new information quickly. Now you can by applying breakthrough scientific discoveries and logical insights into your mind. You can discover incredible mental powers that lie untapped in your brain. Might even make you a grandmaster. Let me get this going. I gotta get I gotta get this for you too. Y'all go ahead and read this, pause the video and read a little bit more. That way we can cover a whole lot of information in a little bit of time. Notice that top when it says, why aren't we better at remembering? Hold on. Get an autofocus on that. See if we can bring that up a little bit more clear. Why aren't we better at remembering when our brains are capable of retaining about 100 billion bits of information? That's the equivalent of 500 encyclopedias. So yeah, there's a direct application to being able to play chess and play it well. 
uh, why aren't we more creative? You notice the fourth one down, why aren't we more creative? When we average 4,000 thoughts every 24 hours, that's $40 a day at a penny a thought. This is how people spend their typical day. This is the other book that I promised y'all we would take a look at. One Minute Bible for Students.
And then this is just when we flip through it, y'all can take a look at it. We're going to zoom out so we can get more of the page on there for y'all. And there you go, that's that. We're going to zoom in and take a look at uh, somebody's birthday this week. This is one y'all going to want to know. This is May. So we'll go ahead and zoom in and show you some birthdays this week. Start off up here on the 11th. Uh, 1951, Bob Vinnick draws Bronstein to retain the title. That was for the World Chess Championship. But the name this week that we're going to do, we're going to show you a book. This man wrote Ludek Pachman, was born May 11th, 1924. He actually wrote uh, one book that was called Modern Chess Strategy, and then he wrote three separate books on chess strategy, volume one, two, and three. We also have those at PC Chess Club. And these are two other names to notice. May 12, 1961, world champion Bob Vinick defeats Tal to regain the world championship. Later on in some upcoming videos, oops, sorry about that. Later on in some upcoming videos, we'll uh, be talking about the Volimirovic variation in the Sicilian. It's a very aggressive variation for white. It's an aggressive variation you use to play against the Sicilian. They're very similar. There's a lot of overlap between Sozin variation, which uh, Bobby Fischer used to play, and the Volim aerobic. It all hinges on one little bishop move, and we'll show you that. Bondarevsky, another good author. Here's one, a name that y'all might know, Simon Agdestein. If you know the name Magnus Carlsen, you might know him as Magnus Early Coach. So this week, uh, actually that would have been yesterday, Thursday, the 15th of May, 1967, was Simon Agdestein's birthday. That's Magnus Coach, the, the first coach that Magnus Carlsen had before he became world championship. World champion. The last name is Wilhelm Steinitz. Right here. He's born on tomorrow, actually, Saturday, uh, May the 17th. Wilhelm Steinitz. That's his birthday, and he was the first world chess champion. Some people debate it. They think Morphy was, but Steinitz was the first recognized world chess champion. And O'Kelly, that's another variation that you play in the Sicilian, the O'Kelly variation. But there's a few names, chess this week, some names that you can throw out there to your friends. 
next week we will preview two people Max Irwa and we will talk about Edgar Colley some people pronounce it the Cole system some people pronounce it the Colley system it was a chess book we've got it at PC Chess Club it's called Kali, the Dogs of War. Kali system, it's an easy white system. If you need a good opening repertoire, a good system for white, you can play it against pretty much any black defense. It's one of the first ones that we use when they first learn their openings. Want to talk about something called a minority attack in chess. It's a strategy. Y'all go ahead and read this. I'll set up a chessboard and you can take a look at it. Okay, right here. One of the most useful methods of creating weak pawn targets is a strategy known as the minority attack, which goes like this. This is a book by Yasser Sirwan. <laughs> right there, International Grandmaster. Feel free to read a little bit, pause, read a little bit more. That way you can keep up with the video. When it moves on, just pause it until you're done reading and then move to the next part.
remember that part. Weak enemy pawns don't just magically appear. You have to create them. Praise God. Praise God. It's a book, Modern Chess Strategy, by the author Ludek Pachman that we featured on the calendar this week, his birthday. Right there, a minority attack. Pogman was an international grandmaster. Here's your evidence. So if you get somebody from Joplin Chess Club, Rival Chess Club, they say, he doesn't know what he's talking about, PC Chess Club, whatever. You could say you read it for yourself. Here's the words of Ludek Pachman himself. Yeah, I like to play for money. If you want to play for some money, we'll play real quick. I'm not very good. I just know how to do the pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to have to do this in other videos, we're not going to have time tonight, but I wanted to show you all a preview about the minority attack, it's actually a whole chapter and then he's got a b and c he's got three little uh points or sub points some say sub chapter but you notice over here how many pages he devotes just to the minority attack start on page 236 go to page 252 do the math and you can see how many pages that is here's a quick preview on it That was done on purpose to prevent people like Joplin Chess Club from trying to uh, 
pause the video and trying to steal something so they could say oh well we saw all that we don't need to buy the book we'll go over that in another video probably next week's video and we'll take a look at that about modern chess strategy the minority attack we'll go ahead and continue that into another video I want to be able to get the games all set and when we have more time be able to go into that and let you guys see a little bit more about how to use minority attack how you can use a couple of pawns it's something that you need to know if you play the Queen's Gambit because typically uh, like if you play exchange variation Queen's Gambit declined or in like Queen's Gambit accepted white is gonna have two pawns knight pawn and rook pawn on the queen side and he's going to be typically facing black's three pawns so it comes in real handy for anybody playing a d pawn opening like queen's gambit either accepted or declined you also see minority attack in some of the uh, versions of the slav defense slav and even semi-slav depends on the line that's played I'm going to go ahead and play Keith, returning again this week to, to play at PC Chess Club. He said, shout out, Keith. Hey, Keith, say a shout out. Well, you can see every week we give you only the best at PC Chess Club. Uh, big shout out, Chess Informant and Chess Base Magazine. You see down here. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, yes. New in chess yearbook for the best in openings. You can see how many books that we typically bring. This is just a typical time, just average amount of books. <laughs> this is not a lot. This is just the average amount of books that we bring at the salvage yard when PC Chess Club meets. So yeah, you're going to be learning a lot when you're here. You're going to be learning to play some good chess, some real good chess. 